Okay, here's a challenge. Can I write a program that trades stocks for me? And how much money can I make in a week? All right, so that's the idea for what we're gonna do today. Uh, I have no idea, no clue actually how to actually get this to work, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna see how it goes. Hopefully it'll work. Uh, now let's go. All right, so today's Monday and that means that it's time to test this thing out and see what it'll do in the wild. The last week or so I've been spending pretty much like what you just saw, like coding this thing out, trying to build it and been running into just a ton of different limitations and different problems that I didn't expect. Like pretty much everything that I do on this channel, I thought this was going to be a lot simpler, but it turns out to be a lot more difficult. A lot of the strategies in like trading and different things like that is a lot more complicated than I kind of thought it was going to be, which is really naive of me to think that it's going to be super simple, uh, but that's kind of how I work. But I have been able to now backtest it against a couple previous days and it seems to be making money consistently so it seems like it's good enough to actually run. So today since it's Monday we're going to start and we're going to run this for five days and we're going to see how much money can we make. So let's go day one. Okay so I figured I would just kind of explain to you how this script works and how I was able to make this do what it does. So the first thing that I had to do is I had to find some sort of API that I could use to get the data for different stocks. So the pricing of them essentially for different times during the day. And the second thing was I had to find some sort of way to find relevant stocks to actually look at because there's like millions of stocks that you could look at and I can't look at all of them and it's not relevant to look at all of them. So I needed to find some sort of way to actually find relevant stocks to look at. And the third one, probably the biggest one, was trying to find some sort of strategy for how to uh, trade essentially. So when to buy and when to sell different stocks. So coming up with a strategy there. And uh, the first one, finding the API, what I used was something called Alpha Vantage which uh, I found a lot of people recommending. And uh, I used the free version, which means that I was limited to just five API calls every minute. That means that I kind of had to decide, I had to figure out a way to find just a couple different stocks to focus on each day because I couldn't make that many calls. So I decided to just focus on five stocks uh, per day. And essentially what I use is yahoofinance.com. I use Selenium to do some web scraping on there and essentially find the stocks that have changed the most during that day. And then I find the five ones at the top. And then those are the ones that I'm gonna be checking throughout the rest of this, uh, the run of that script. And so that's kind of how I find the stocks that I'm actually gonna focus on. And then the last thing is gonna be the strategy, so when to buy and when to sell. And since I can only do five API calls every minute, that means that I kind of decided to uh, do one call for each of the stocks that I'm focusing on every minute. So that means that I get the price of each stock every minute updating. And so that's kind of what I had to work with. And the strategy that I used was something that I found on this website. And there'll be a link to this website in the description as well, in case you wanna look at this too. But essentially what this was, was that what they're using as an indicator is when the stocks move above the previous average uh, high, as far as I understood it. So as you can see here, here it has a high up 
here somewhere and here it has one that's pretty close to this one. So as you can hopefully tell by now, I'm not an expert at this at all. So I'm not trying to teach you uh, this. I would recommend trying to learn all this stuff from somewhere else. I probably should have focused a little bit more on actually learning this properly before I got started. But yeah, so when I buy or when I sell is based on this particular diagram. Uh, so this is what I used. Okay, so that's kind of how this script works. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna invest a thousand dollars today and we're gonna leave it for five days. Each day it's gonna divide the money in five and then essentially it won't invest more than a fifth of the money in any of the stocks at any time. And then at the end of the day, we'll see how much we have and then the next day it will do the same thing. All right, so let's run the first day. It's a hot day I'm hanging in the sunshine You should hit me with the splash gun So I cool down Won't you come on over You know what, actually, while I've got you here I just want to mention that today's video is sponsored by Kite Kite is an auto-completion engine for Python that integrates with a ton of different text editors like Atom, Visual Studio Code, Sublime, Vim and PyCharm Feature number one, ranked completions. Kite's completions are sorted by relevance instead of popularity or alphabet or anything else. And they use machine learning to determine what would be the most relevant suggestion at this time. And that's how they're able to come up with better suggestions than any other system that I've used. Feature number two, line of code completions. And that means that it's able to actually complete full lines of code for you. Feature number three, intelligent snippets. Using their machine learning, they're able to actually suggest placeholder values for when you're calling different functions. And lastly, feature number four, which is called Copilot. And Copilot allows you to no longer have to Google Python documentation because Copilot allows you to see the documentation right within your text editor or IDE. So I definitely recommend that you download Kite and give it a try. There will be a link in the description. All right, so that is day one done. And uh, this is what we ended up with. $4.7. So I created a JSON file here where we essentially save every time we purchase a stock, we save it here. And this then lets me see kind of what what stocks did I buy today and what stocks did I sell and do I own any stocks currently so right now uh, at the end of the day here we don't own any stocks which is good which, that means that we sold everything before the stock market closed so if we take a look at this first one here for instance we can see that we bought this at 87.5 dollars and we sold it at 91.7 dollars so if we just do some math here then we can see that we made about a 5% uh, profit on that particular uh, sale or that particular stock. And as we can see, we bought that several times during that day. The highest that we sold it at was uh, $97. So we could have, if the script would have been ideal, it would have just bought it once and then sold it at its highest. But I'm still pretty happy with this. If we take a look at the second buy, it bought it at $92 and the second time it sold it at 94, so we still made a profit. Last one, it bought at 95, sold at 97. So we only made profits today, which is really good. As long as I'm like not losing money on this script, I'm gonna be pretty happy. Now I'm thinking that we're just gonna run this script for the next couple days, and then we'll see at the end how much money I made or lost, and uh, we'll break it down day by day to kind of see what's happened each day. All right, so let's do that now.
All right, so this is day five and we've now ran this script for five days and uh, it wasn't as exciting of a result as I would have hoped. Uh, as you saw the first day, we made $4.7. So with a thousand dollar budget, we made uh, $4.7, which is okay. That was uh, the profit that we made that day. And then on day two, we made $18.67, cents, which uh, was quite an increase from the $4.7 the day before. So I was really happy with that result. And again, there was like no losses. Uh, I didn't sell anything at a loss actually, which kind of makes me a little bit skeptical, but uh, I believe that probably was the result. As far as I could tell, there wasn't any problems or anything like that. Uh, so it seemed like it was working. And then on day three, we came in at $1,023.064, uh, which is kind of where this uh, interesting story sort of ends because day three, day four, and day five all ended up with the same result. So we got $1,023.0. So essentially, so essentially during these five days, we made $23, which is a pretty good profit, but the last three days we didn't make any profit or any loss probably because the stocks that we were picking didn't actually change enough to, for the script to trigger to buy or they didn't change in the way that my strategy was set up so didn't end up buying anything on those days but at the end of the week we ended up with a two percent increase uh, in profits but compounding that over time over like a year or something like that that would end up being a lot of money and that would be a pretty huge increase if it kept increasing by two percent each week or each five days all right so i'm going to be honest and say that this i hope this was going to be a little bit more extreme like more extreme than just a two percent increase I was hoping like maybe 50% or like 100% or maybe even a decrease in 100% or something like that. Just anything a little bit more exciting than 2%. But I'm not gonna lie, like this is what happened. And again, like pretty much all my videos, I'm really happy with the results that I, is that like really self-indulgence? It'll be like, I'm super happy with what I just created. I feel like that kind of is, but I am really happy with what I just made and I thought it was a really fun build as well and this might be something that I want to like keep working on and keep tweaking in the future so I might make another video in the future on this topic but that's pretty much it for this one and before you go I just want to mention that I've created something called Clean Code Friday which is where I send out a short email once every week so every Friday uh, that contains a couple of the things that I've found throughout the week that I think are interesting and I, that I think you might enjoy. So this will be things like books I'm reading, articles I've read, uh, topics that I'm diving into, apps that I've found throughout the week, productivity tips, coding tips and tricks, and really just anything that I think you might enjoy. So if you want to sign up to that, you can go to caltech.com slash clean code and you can sign up for it there. There's also a link to that in the description. But yeah, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I'll see you in the next one.